Fun Show. You are listening to the Big Dumb Fun Show on BigDumbFunShow.com. Check us out on video on Big Dumb Fun Show on the live stream, livestream.com slash BDFS. You can watch the shows and replay on demand is the best way to view them. Friend up with us on the MySpace, fan up with us on the Facebook. Join us and follow our sweet tweets on the Twitter, twitter.com slash Big Dumb Fun Show. I called everyone an asshat on uh, on Facebook earlier today, or actually just a couple of hours ago, and somebody said, "Hey, it's nice when douchebags call me an asshat." Like, like they they took offense to it. Like I was calling her out, as like I was just purposely Same. getting her and say, "Hey, you're an asshat." And uh, not everybody, but just you specifically. Not not everyone. Just you, ma'am, are an asshat. And no, she got mad. So. Uh, I, I did not call her an asshat. Uh, I called everybody an asshat. So, I mean, in essence, the everyone, whole world. the entire world, uh, I called them an asshat. So I'm sorry that you took offense uh, to being called an asshat. Uh, so I guess the big story, and I was actually going to lead off with this because it was such a big story, such a hot-button argument, and that is the uh, the mosque. Uh, you know, 9-11 uh, came and went, and we still haven't done anything with uh, with Ground Zero, as far as uh, like the Freedom Tower was supposed to be built, uh, not oh, on you're Ground get Zero. Me started on this, but it was supposed to be near Ground Zero. We're gonna have like a Freedom Tower type thing, and now I guess uh, in or around the area. And Gnurk, you may be more schooled on this a than I. A bunch of Muslims showed up and said, "Let's build a mosque." They said, "Hey, we can we can purchase uh, a little real estate here, and we'll build a a Muslim a mosque, uh, which is basically okay. what a a Muslim church." First right? off, it's not a mosque. It is a cultural center. Yes, a mosque is included. It's a cultural center. The thing it's that a cultural center with a, a mosque, mosque, much yes. like a church has a chapel, right? Is that the kind of kind of a parallel? Yeah, a church no. is a cultural center with a chapel. With a chapel. Anyway, okay, no, right. it's a little more than just a mosque. But regardless, the way that like Fox News is portraying it is that these people want to build this exactly on the site of Ground Zero. Mm-hmm. That is not the case. They it want is, to build it a block away. It's two blocks north and a block east. Mm-hmm. So it's about three blocks away. Okay. And you have to understand that in New York, after 9-11, real estate in that area, in that financial district, has drastically dropped. Really? So the real well, So much duh. so that people like so Arabs real estate, can afford to buy real estate it's from... Not, it's not even a lot of immigrants have moved into that area, and it's not just like people act like it's the only Muslim thing there. That's ridiculous. It there's tons of shops of all cultures throughout that entire area. Shops, food, all that kind of things, and it's it's absolutely it's mind boggling to me that, that people are flipping out about this because they're acting like. Uh, every Muslim in the world got together and said, "Hey, let's bomb that." You know, let's. Bomb the World Trade Center. That sounds like a really good idea. Then let's go back and build a mosque. But but here's the thing. If you look at it from this point of view, okay, a homegrown American Christian wacko bombed the federal building in Oklahoma City in 1996. Yeah. Correct? Mm -hmm. So two blocks away, should we not be able to build a Christian church? Well, maybe not build a uh, a fertilizer factory. I mean, it's just kind of like the, hey. It's the same thing, though. It's the same exact thing. It's the same like, it's absolutely ridiculous. No, it's not, because they're talking about being Christian versus Muslim. Exactly. What's the... It, 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 that's why they're our different forefathers... Religions. Yes, but our, I think we're, our, we're, country, we're, our country... Our based country on, was based on coming here f- to get away from religious yeah, freedom persecution. freedom of religion, as long as you're... As long as you agree as as with the Republicans. Exactly. As it's ridiculous. As long as you're Christian, it's okay to come to this country. No, I Obviously, think... Obviously, there's a lot of people upset about Because there's a lot of Native Americans, they weren't Christian, and they got converted. But the thing that the people, because the people that are upset about it are not doing the research that they need to do to learn about it. Now, why did, and why did Obama said, even come out? And because because Muslim ties aside, I mean, he's already in hot water when it comes to any like Muslim affairs because what, he is because Muslim. he is Muslim. Right. Is that, is that correct? He's of Muslim descent. Muslim he is descent. not. He does not practice the religion of Islam. So is that like being like uh, Jewish, but not of. It's but, like yeah, it's like being it's like being Israeli but not being Jewish. Yes, it's very similar. Okay, all right. So uh, why would he even come out and say anything? Because he already got in trouble with the. You remember the guy he had, had to make amends and have a beer with? You remember the cop that he came oh, out yeah. and saying, you know, and he made like he just he decided like he was going to purposely go out there and he was going to say something 
uh, just to, to make a statement. And ju- I think it, what it does, it just may, it riles people up more and more just by him actually saying anything about it. Because obviously, people are going to expect a little bias on on his part. So was it a good thing for Obama to come out and say, hey, I think it's okay, or for him to come out and say, oh, this is a travesty, or should he have just not said anything at all? Here's the thing, though. When it comes to the president, no matter what he said or or did or didn't say, he was going to get flack. If he didn't say anything, well, where's the president? Yeah. What's his views on yeah, this? Yeah, what good Americans are going to want to mosk there? I think it's fine. Because not, it's... It, I mean, if somebody, and I said this to people because there was a big, like, 57 comment thread on my page about this. And I said to the people that were in disagreement with building it there. I mean, there's not like a Japanese monument in Pearl Harbor. Core proof that the men funding this project are in line with terrorists, then I will change my view and I will say, don't let them do it. But it wasn't whether they were in line with terrorists. The fact was that the terrorists that did the act were Muslim. So? And like so that, like they, I you just think said, like you know, there you, are more people you know, you in the world that are Muslim than are Christian. Okay, so hands down. Well, then there should be plenty of other spaces just, they could put them on. Yeah, <laughs> just but not here in the America. Thing. Here's the thing, though. It's it, this just boggles my mind. We cannot judge every Muslim in the world by what these 19 wackos did. I sure as hell don't want people judging me as a white um, Christian American by what Fred Phelps says. Do you want to be judged by what Fred Phelps says? But they do. But that's but do you want them to? No, it's ridiculous. The Quran is actually a more peaceful book than the Bible. It does have seven virgins. Yeah. Which that, is the actually it's seventy seven. Well, as I, as oh, I wow. said before, there isn't like a, a Japanese seven, religious seven Virginians. temple at the at Pearl Harbor. Yeah, see that. See how that would be kind of like if well, they, they decided to put some sort I'm of. I'm sure a that there is. I'm sure that there is some sort of Hindu church uh, near Hawaii uh, on, near, Hawaii. on Hawaii after the fact. But at Pearl Harbor. At Pearl Harbor, yeah. Two uh, blocks to the north and in, one block east. Well, here's and, and the and thing you, with you, here's the difference between Pearl Harbor. That was done by a country. In an act of war, and yes, this was obviously an act of war as well, but it it was not done, it was not sanctioned by any country, it was done by a group of extremists, and that's the line. There's, there's, we got, we got homegrown wackos here too, and we make it, our country is a very easy country to hate too. What if Fred Phelps bombed something in, in, in Shanghai, right? And then a couple years later, he wanted to have a, a, Westboro, Baptist his, his, Church. a Westboro Baptist Church right no. there in Shanghai. That's different. That's kind of kind of the same. No, it's not. <laughs>